Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be talking about all of the books that I have about bees. In lieu of springtime and right now it's our busy season at the farm, I just wanted to go through all of the books that I have about bees. The majority of them are non-fiction books and I have a few fiction books as well. Later on in the video I'll show you where I majority of these books are kept which is in our little farm store. I'll have some background footage of where I live and what's in my backyard. If you don't know, I mentioned this in some previous videos, but my dad is a beekeeper and I grew up on the family farm and I'm involved in the family business, primarily just selling honey, but I have always known a lot of random stuff about honeybees and bees growing up with my dad being a beekeeper and I've acquired some of these books throughout the years. I haven't read many of them so stay tuned for future video of me actually reading the majority of these books and comparing them and reading them and whatnot but I just wanted to go through some of the books that I own. Buying things with bees on them like shirts and earrings or books with bees or about bees is kind of like the easy thing to do. It's the gift that is the most easy to give and to acquire so it's really hard to walk through a bookstore or walk through any kind of store and see something with bees on it and not purchase it. You know, I can say that it's for the business. Anywho's, let's get started. So I'll start with this book because it's on the top of the list. The Little Book of Bees, an illustrated guide to the extraordinary lives of bees. I actually purchased this in January and read it in January, thinking that in January I might do the Bee vlog but that didn't end up happening but I read this adorable little illustrated book it has fun little illustrations in it and fun facts about bees this isn't just honeybees it's actually looking at all kinds of bees which I really enjoyed because I didn't know how many different kinds of varieties that there were the illustrations in here are great and it's it was a fun little read a good book to have and I feel like it'd be cute to like show kids one day or whatever kids who are studying about bees to for them to read this book the next book I have is the wisdom of bees with a hive can teach business about leadership efficiency and growth by Michael O'Malley this is a business book but I really liked the cover and I'm a business major so I figured I'd read it and see if I learn anything from it this book basically just has like lessons that you can learn from a bee or a beehive and I mean even has stuff like be fair, be open-minded, be objective and data-driven. I mean it's probably gonna be a little cheesy to have those connections between bees and business but I might be surprised. The next book I have is Buzz by Thor Hansen, The Nature and Necessity of Bees. I picked this one up at Powell's because the cover could not pass that up. But this book primarily dives into where bees came from, how they evolved, and what is happening to them now, and why they're important, and how if they all die, we'd all be screwed. The flap says, bees are like oxygen, ubiquitous, essential, and for the most part, unseen. Everyone knows they exist, but few people stop to think about them. That is, until they start disappearing. Then I have more like, textbooky type of books. I have B, Photographs by Rosalind Fisher. This is a book that shows microscopic images of the honeybee and like the bee part, like that's the eye. It's a little, it's a little bit creepy, but it's really interesting. It's more of a, like a photo book. Next up, I have the bee book, The Wonder of Bees, How to Protect Them and Beekeeping Know-How. This is a little bit more of a beekeeper's guide, how to take care of the bees, beekeeping essentials and whatnot. This is more of like a beekeeper's guide to, to honeybees. Then I have The Lives of Bees, The Untold Story of the Honeybee in the Wild. So this book, similar to Buzz, talks about the history of bees and how they involved and what they're doing. But this specifically talks more about wild honeybees and, wa and wild bees. The flap says, humans have kept honeybees in hives for millennia, yet only in recent decades have biologists begun to investigate how these industrious insects live in the wild. More of an in-depth, like scientific look at honeybees and the wild bees. Then I have The Honeybee Democracy by Thomas D. Sheely. This book dives into more of the social structures of honeybees and how they interact with each other, which to me is the most fascinating part about honeybees as creatures 
the way that they were created and made like what they do and how they interact with one another and how their hive structure works is so fascinating. This book dives into that and it says, honeybees make decisions collectively and democratically. Every year faced with the life or death problem of choosing and traveling to a new home, honeybees stake everything on a process that includes collective fact-finding, vigorous debate, and consensus building. So it's very fascinating, the decisions that bees make and the things that they do. So this one I think would be really fascinating to read and definitely on the top of the list. Then I have this beautiful book called The Beekeeper's Bible, Bees, Honey, Recipes, and Other Home Uses. It's a gorgeous book. I actually started reading this a while ago, so I have some tabs and notes, but it starts from like the history of bees, the history of honey. It goes into the like anatomy of bees and how they're, what they're like, the social life, and all of the products that bees make like honey and propolis and wax. It goes into beekeeping and hives and how to take care of them as well as well as honey and all of the different things you can do with honey. I mean, this book is like a all-in-one kind of book. It has everything you need and I'm glad I own it. It's this beautiful book. So that is the majority of the nonfiction books that I own. My dad has a lot more nonfiction books about the actual science of beekeeping and honeybees and majority of them are in Russian. So that's really interesting. I don't think I'd be able to fully read them, but I did want to talk about a few fiction books that I have. So this one was in my January wrap up, The Honey Bee by Kristen Hall. This is a kid's book, an illustration, illustrated kid's book about honey and bees. And I thought it was absolutely adorable. Definitely saving this for a future child. And yeah, I thought it was just the cutest little book and it's pretty factually accurate. So in terms of like a kid's book, a good one. Then I have The Secret Life of Bees, a novel by Sue Monk Kidd. This isn't, again, primarily about bees, but bees are involved in the story. And this is set in South Carolina in the 1960s, where a girl and her mother kind of leave a racist Southern community and befriend some beekeepers. I honestly cannot remember if I ever did read this like in high school. I feel like I did because I own the book and it is kind of used, but I don't remember the story whatsoever. I gave this to a friend of mine recently to borrow and she loved it. So I definitely need to read this soon. Up next, I have The Beekeeper's Apprentice by Laurie R. King. This is a Sherlock Holmes novel, like a separate Sherlock Holmes spinoff where Sherlock Holmes is retired and he befriends a woman and they study honeybees and then some sort of you know mystery occurs and they have to solve it. I honestly, pick this one up because of the cover, let's be honest. And I haven't read a proper Sherlock Holmes novel. I do like the story. I've watched the movies and the BBC series. Love Sherlock Holmes. Need to read those books, the original stories, but I thought I had to own this one. Then the next book I've definitely mentioned in a few videos is The Bees by Laleen Paul. This one I really want to read and read soon. This follows a honeybee and a honeybee in its hive. So it's a more of a science fiction take and it follows Flora717 who is a sanitation worker in the hive and deals with her story. I'm very intrigued to see how this goes and where the story takes this seems very fascinating so definitely hoping to pick this one up soon and yes the cover is beautiful and then not really about bees but thought i'd mention it little bee by chris cleave recently purchased honestly bought it because of the color and the title but this is a story a historical fiction about women in nigeria i believe so i don't know the full synopsis and what happens in this book but it's historical fiction and i thought the cover was great so i definitely hope to read it i don't think this book has anything to do with bees but i thought i'd mention it because bees in the title all right so those are all of the bee books that i own and now i'll take you to our little shop and i'll show you where they're mostly held and how that little shop looks and a little bit of our farm and what's going on right now. It's, it's prime bee season.
the lighting and the shadows are a bit funky, but I thought I would sign out here. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any other bee books, send them my way, but I will be posting a vlog sooner or later about me reading some of these books. I hopefully you enjoyed seeing a little glimpse of my life and where I live and where I work. Thanks for tuning in guys. I will see you in another video soon. Bye.